Dear guests, welcome to the opening ceremony of Utopia Week, a celebratory milestone in the development of 10 U European Universities Alliance. This Utopia Week is hosted by the University of Ljubljana, which has been a proud member of the Alliance since the very beginning in 2018. The idea of Utopia is to become an open, multicultural, confederated operation of connected campuses by 2025. In the past three years, many projects focusing on education, research and student engagement were developed and came to fruition. Utopia is a learning and research community that unites 10 renowned European universities with a common goal, to create an open, diverse and multicultural higher education space. We are excited that these ideas attract more and more European universities to join our alliance. But now, without further ado, we welcome the Rector of the University of Ljubljana, Sir Gregor Majic. Dear Rectors, Presidents, Vice-Chancellors, dear distinguished guests, dear colleagues and friends, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all here in Slovenia, in Ljubljana, and the University of Ljubljana is indeed very honored to host this last Utopia Week of the original Utopia project, which actually also started here in Ljubljana. As I mentioned, we are starting the last week of Utopia 2050 project. However, this does not mean the end of the Utopia. Through Utopia, we have already provided some numerous opportunities for our students and staff to meet, study and work together as one team. Students and staff are already benefiting from the exchange of ideas and collaborations, although there is certainly a lot of room for improvement. We must bring Utopia to all our students and staff. Everyone at each member university should know what Utopia is and what are the goals and the benefits of collaboration. Utopia has passed first in infant years and now it is time to move on. We are very happy to secure the funding for the new project Utopia More and I'm sure we have very exciting years ahead of us. If we are to fulfill the European Commission idea and wish to create European University, we need to bring our universities even closer together. Joint and double degrees, more staff exchanges, joint research projects, exchange of administrative and support staff, bringing closer our habilitation criteria. These are just some of the things we need to work on if we really want to create a close-knit, unified academic community. And I strongly believe that all rectors present here share this vision and we will work together, accomplish these tasks and challenges in the next Utopia project. Last but not least, I would like to thank Eva Wieberg, who led the Utopia for the last two years, and Nikki Makel, who worked very closely with Eva as a Secretary General. You both did a very great job and the achievements you reached are numerous and real. It has been hard work for both of you, but I know I speak on behalf of all the directors and all Utopians when I say that we are all very thankful and grateful to both of you for all the hard work you dedicated to the growth of Utopia. Dear Utopians, I truly look forward to learning from and with you during the Utopia Week and beyond. I wish you a warm welcome in Ljubljana and I hope that you will enjoy your stay in Slovenia. Welcome again to Ljubljana and to Slovenia and enjoy the Utopia Week. As you know, a Utopia is a, is a dream, uh, a European university is a dream, is, is a long-term dream. Uh, what is important that is that in the long way to this dream, we are achieving every day, every week, every month, we are achieving many good results. We have joint programs, we have research programs, we have uh, visiting appointments, a lot of interchange of students, staff, faculty and so. So it's important to realize that we are now and in the past achieved many uh, results. We feel very honored to receive the testimony of the University of Ljubljana, who has uh, coordinated the first step of this uh, alliance. Now uh, we feel very honored to be the coordinators of the second step, because we want more utopia, and that's why we have utopia more. And uh, now I will ask uh, uh, our Vice President for International UPF to uh, speak a little bit about this second step. Thank you very much. And I have to thank uh, Nikki and all the people who organized these things from the beginning have created a sense of a friendship of trust. And I think it's what we need more is a lot of trust from each other and a lot of generosity. Second, I think it's interesting to mention that this is a very interesting innovation process on higher education that comes from the public sector that doesn't happen that often, and is making a lot of impact, not only in Europe, but beyond. So that's, uh, that's something we need to think, and then we need to collaborate in a strong way. So I think you will help us to do as well as they did in Ljubljana uh, during these three years. Thank you very much. Many of you don't know, whenever you start a speech about European universities, you have to start with the fact that Macron made a speech in Paris in 2017. So I've mentioned it. What you probably don't know 
is literally two miles down the road from where he was making that speech. There was a meeting of three universities that came together to talk about how we could collaborate as an alliance. So CY, VUB and Warwick were in Paris that day and we were talking about how we could do something new and innovative together. And actually that for Utopia was the beginning. We didn't know Macron was making a speech, that was a coincidence, but that was the real starting point for Utopia. And when you think about how far we've come in that five years, it's, it's truly outstanding. Now we have activities across all the four corners of the Knowledge Square. We have the 30 learning communities, which bring together educators in new and innovative ways to provide opportunities for our students. We also now have 13 research incubators, which are bringing together our academics and our researchers to see how we can collaborate better across our institutions in delivering solutions to global and societal challenges. We are this afternoon going to be signing both the Inclusion Manifesto and the Global Partners Charter, which is a result of a lot of work over the last three years by the teams to get us to the point that we can sign those today. And I'd also like to give a warm welcome to the three representatives from our global partners that are joining us for the first time. They've joined us uh, virtually before, but they're joining us for the first time physically today. So welcome to you. You're very pleased you're here. Various other activities. We now have established our Young Leaders Academy that is training the utopian leaders of tomorrow. We have uh, a science and innovation fellowship program. We have the student think tank. We have the open innovation challenge, which is connecting what we do in our universities with our local authorities and to our cities and regions. We've won over 30 million euros of research funding in the last four years. That's really significant. We now have a portfolio of projects, so we're celebrating today the finish of 2050. We also have TRAIN, we have the SIF project, we have Flex Lab, and finally Utopia More. So 30 million euros of, of income that we've generated whilst we've been here. But of course, Utopia is not just about all that activity. More than anything, Utopia is about the people that deliver what we do. So not just the presidents, the vice presidents, the project managers, but all of you that do the work, our student representatives, our young leaders, all of you that are involved in this, are part of that Utopia family. And really for me, that's been the thing that I've enjoyed most about Utopia, is really seeing that group of people come together as one and really take forward the future of Utopia together. But I'm going to invite you to do two things. Firstly, I'd like you to take time this week in amongst the work to really reflect on how far we've come in the first, last five years and to reflect on how much we've achieved in those five years and to really celebrate the end of the 2050 project because I think we should celebrate it. So the second thing I'd ask you to do this week is just take a moment to think about the future. Just take a moment to think about how what you're doing really delivers the future of Utopia and how you can contribute to that change that we are trying to drive. What I'd like to see is if we can achieve all that we've done in the first five years, think of what we can achieve in the next five years and what Utopia will look like in five years' time. So take a moment, please, to reflect on where we will be in five years' time and how much we can achieve together. Thank you. We have not only gathered to celebrate the Utopia 2050 projects, but also to celebrate the bright future of the Alliance. Two important documents, Utopia More Inclusion Manifesto and International Partners Charter will be signed today, symbolizing the beginning of new chapters in the Utopia Alliance's future. We invite Madam Petra Widemschek of the Faculty for Social Work, University of Ljubljana, leader of Utopia Work Package for Social Inclusion, to present the new chapter in our alliance, Utopia More, and the new inclusion manifesto that will be signed today. As a Work Package leader, I am really proud that today, and especially all Utopia partners, are committed to inclusion. The inclusion manifesto is the final result of the three years pilot project in the Work Package 5, Promoting Inclusion and Equal Society. Over the last three years, all six partners in the Work Package 5 have shared, analyzed, and reflect on their inclusive policies, practices, and visions. 
We have presented and prepared really huge amount of papers. We prepared inclusion framework, roadmap for inclusion. We also present case studies of students. All of that is now available online, so each of you can see it. But as I said, inclusion manifesto comprises practices coming from inclusion principles. It's a compass for the future utopia. We make sure that inclusion manifesto is translated in all languages of utopia, so they are accessible to entire utopia alliance, to the whole community and even beyond that. So I invite all rectors to sign the manifesto, and it's time for celebrating for all of us. This is quite a huge achievement, I would say. Thank you. Sir Daniel David, Babesh Boliai University. Sir Jan Dankart, Vrije Universitet, Brussels. Madam Tiziana Lipielo, Kafoskari Universita di Venezia. Sir François Germiné, CY Sergi Paris Université. Madam Ursula Staudinger, Technische Universität Dresden. Madam Eva Wieberg, Göteborg's Universität is not with us tonight. <laughs> Gregor Majdic, Universo Ljubljana. Sir João Sagua, Universidade de Nova de Lisboa. Sir Josep Oriol Amat Salas, Universitat Pompeu Fabra, Barcelona. And Sir Stuart Croft, University of Warwick. We are all well aware that citizens around the world need autonomous, inclusive, responsive and connected universities providing research-based education to meet the challenges of the 21st century. Therefore, Utopia has grown to now include associated global partners from across the world. This growth allows for further collective learning and the inclusion of broader perspectives and understandings from beyond Europe to the benefit of all. Without further ado, may I ask representatives of our global partners to join us in signing the Utopia International Partnership Charter. Monash University from Australia, represented by Madam Cecilia Hewlett, Pro Vice Chancellor, Prato Center and Global Network Development. Pyeongpok National University from South Korea, represented by Sir Jin Sam Kim, former Dean of International Affairs. Stellenbosch University from South Africa, represented by Madam Hester Klopper, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Strategy Global and Corporate Affairs. Unfortunately, there is no representative of the fourth global partner from the International University of Rabat from Morocco with us today. There will certainly be many opportunities for meetings and joint activities in the upcoming years in the framework of Utopia More. It's my pleasure just to speak for a, a couple of moments about this really important piece of work of the signing of this international charter, which is a really important collaboration between Utopia and our global partners, co-creating together something really important about how we will work together, ju not just now, but of course into the future, into the next stage. When you start a new initiative like Utopia, you have to be quite a brave partner to say, not, what is this? But instead, how can we help? How can we be engaged? How can we co-create? And that is what has been so important in the work so far. And this charter sets out some really important principles of how we work together based on mutual sharing, based on working for mutual understanding, based on mutual respect. Also on the really clear reality that Europe doesn't know everything and that some things that we as Europeans have done in the past, well, maybe we wouldn't do it again. We as Europeans need to be open to learning with and from the rest of the world as well. And that is why, working forward, we have a wonderful commitment to work with our global partners to develop the agenda of the future. Good morning, everyone. 
Thank you for being here. I feel honored to have the privilege to chair Utopia. I feel the great responsibility and I hope we can work together in the coming two years in harmony. First of all, let me thank Eva and all the presidents of rectors of Utopia. I hope to deserve your trust. I'm very excited at the idea of working with you at Utopia More and confident about the success of our project. We share the same goals. We aim at implementing our European values and disseminate them together with our global partners. Thank you for being with us today. Utopia More, with UPF coordinating it, is an ambitious project, and all of us here strongly believe in it. If this project is to be successful in reaching its goals, it needs to reach the heart of our communities, as it has been said today. Utopia is our great European home. It's a place where we want to give people space to get together, to further research, to enrich teaching, to cultivate the talent of the younger generations, and to apply best practices to processes and to the organization of our universities. For these reasons, I believe it is important that we continue to work together to accelerate our community's involvement and sense of belonging. We need to start with students, the children of a united Europe, who have always been willing to get to know other cultures and experiences living in other countries. Utopia is a project that we have to place in their care. This is why it is crucial that they be directly involved as much as possible. I'm sure that many of our students are ready to appreciate this project and commit to developing it further. I wish to thank Nick for her precious work and commitment, for always being available to find solutions and answers, for her great sensibility and vision. I hope you can still be with us in the future. I express my heartfelt thanks to Eva, Francois, Gregor, Stuart, Ursula, Oriol, Joao, Daniel, Jan, who every day help me to understand and appreciate Utopia. To all the Utopians, the vice presidents, the project managers, thank you. To all the administrative staff, professors, and students of the 10 universities who work with enthusiasm and courage and commitment on this ambitious project, thank you. My wish is that all of us will continue to cultivate this enthusiasm and trust. Let us believe in it. Let us join forces to make it grow and have a positive impact on our university, on Europe, on our societies, on the world. United, we stand. Thank you so much. Dear guests, this marks the ending of our ceremony and the beginning of the exciting week ahead of us. So, we wish you a pleasant stay in Ljubljana and seize the opportunities that Utopia Week is offering you. Thank you.